Hello everyone, today I'll be making a video on MQ sensor. So, as usual, let's get straight into it. Okay, so, uh, let me show you. So, this is an MQ sensor. Uh, it's MQ5 to be exact. So, different MQ will detect different types of gases. So, depending on the type of gas that you would want to detect, uh, you need to carefully choose your uh, MQ sensor, right? So, uh, just a moment. Okay, all right. So, here you can see that uh, we have the pins for the MQ5 sensor. Uh, it's a very easy setup, actually. It's just VCC ground and. Uh, digital and analog pins so that's just very basic on on how to set up right so uh one thing about this uh mq5 sensor is uh when you first uh, buy this you need to uh, for example let it turned on for uh, 24 hours so that it becomes a uh, uh, season enough to use right so uh, if you just directly use it without actually uh, you know letting it uh, stay on for 24 hours I think uh, that that process of letting it stay on for 24 hours is uh, there's a name to it I actually forgot right so that's the process that is that is supposed to get the MQ5 sensor season Right, so this is a new one. So I haven't actually turned it on for uh, 24 hours and to just let it stay on, you know. So uh, just in case, if you are uh, going to be using this for in a highly sensitive application, uh, then just be sure to do to complete that process before you do it. Okay, and uh, right underneath the, there's a calibration knob. So uh, this helps you to adjust the sensitivity of this uh, MQ5 sensor, right? So if needed, you can always play with the sensitivity uh, depending on the threshold values that you want. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I can set up this, right? So I'll be showing the code after this. So this setup is, is dependent on that code, okay? so definitely we will need to fire up the mq5 sensor by supplying it power supply so i have my 5 volt and ground over here so i'm going to just connect it like this so my 5 volt and ground is connected to 5 volt and uh sorry vcc and ground over here okay so 5 volt okay i almost got it wrong I almost fried this thing so five volt and parallax error so i have five volt and ground and next is i'm going to use analog right because i need analog readings instead of just a zero and ones right so you can see a file over here is connected to my analog okay so that's a very easy setup and just in case uh, in case if a gas leakage is detected then I would want my buzzer to go off right so I have a buzzer over here and it's being fired by digital pin 8 okay so that is the setup let me focus okay so you can see pin 8 is connected to the buzzer Okay, so now let's go to the code. Okay, so now let's look at the code, right? So, okay, this is just declaration of few variables. Uh, you can see I have my alarm pin at eight. Oops, sorry. So next is, uh, as, as you can recall, our A5 earlier is the analog pin that is coming up from the MQ5 sensor and this is just a threshold value that i set right so there is no definite number to this you can you can change it depending on how your mq5 sensor reacts and 
what level of calibration it is giving right so I feel like 250 is a good number uh, mostly it's a good number across few MQ5 sensors that I have used uh, but then again if needed you can always change by increasing this value or lowering this value depending on the sensitivity of uh, gas detection that you want okay so now let's move on to void setup uh, this is just declaring that this is input and this is output and then we're just initiating serial begin okay so uh, this is void next is white loop right so uh, I've declared a value a variable over here that's it's not a global variable so uh, int sensor well is equal to the smoke level that I read from my analog okay uh, and then I just print those values right you don't have to necessarily do this but I'm just uh, doing this to show you what value that I, what are the values that I get okay uh, next is the uh, I, I think that's next is the main part of the code uh, we're just gonna check if the sensor value or whatever we read from MK5 sensor is more than the threshold value that we have set over here right so if it's more than 250 then it's basically gonna ring the buzzer right uh, this is just a simple tone uh, it's an existing uh, sorry it's an existing uh, function in Arduino you can just call and, and use it right so uh, I think these two values are the I, I think it's one is duration one is uh, pitch I'm not really sure but nevertheless it's a really simple uh, code that sorry it's a really simple function that you can find and just use uh, next is uh, no turn again it's the simple uh, tone function I'm not going to be speaking too much about it because it's, uh, it's actually simple and straightforward for use right so okay so that's all about the code and uh, as you can see the code is very basic just to give you a picture on how to use uh, mq5 sensor in your project okay so I'm gonna go ahead and upload this code uh, I already have my Arduino connected so now I have my mq5 sensor is giving a value of 104 okay uh, what I can do to increase this value is just simply take a lighter and then you know uh, just apply some gas nearby the MQ5 sensor okay now as you can see sorry the value goes up whenever I apply that uh, gas right okay sorry my buzzer got disconnected let me connect that just a moment Okay, so this is the usual value that I got and uh, in case if I started to apply some gas, let's see what happens, right, I'm going to bring a lighter nearby, so I'm not sure if you can hear the buzzer going on in the background, right, so every time I bring the lighter to, to the uh, to the MQ5 center, I'm just leaking the gas out of that uh, uh, lighter, right? So you don't have to actually light up the lighter. You just have to press the button, and it will, and it will expel some some gas, right? So that gas will cause the will cause the reading to go high. So as you can see, every time the reading goes high. So every time the gas is applied, the reading goes high. Okay, sorry, I have to work while holding my wires over here. It's a bit loose. You see, every time the reading goes up, my buzzer rings. Right, so let me apply gas again. I'm taking it away, and then the value drops below 250, and the buzzer. Uh, buzzer goes off okay now just to demonstrate it to you again I'm gonna apply the gas 
my reading shoots up, my buzzer rings as long as I maintain it over there. As soon as I take it out, then my buzzer goes off. Okay? So that's the basic usage of MQ5 sensor. And uh, I really hope you have learned something from, from this video. In case if you have any questions, feel free to post it. So until then, thank you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe.